Now there's poison spiders waiting to poison me and slay me for everything I own. So we need to stack up on some anti-poisons. I don't really have any marantils right now, so we're just gonna have to use these for now. And then we'll be good. Well, here we go. We're finally doing something dangerous on the account. I should be able- Yep, I can do them now. That's good. Finally doing something dangerous. We've got the ring of life ready to go. Just in case we disconnect. Uh, I need to look in. My prayer's gonna drop a lot. I would like to recharge that at the Audi place, so... I'll work that out later, but we should be okay here. Let's roll. We don't have an anti-fire shield. We're not gonna risk it. We're not gonna take any stupid risks on this account. We leave. The spike jump. Strange floor. 80 agility for this bad boy. Boom! 12 experience. That's what we like. Now what we're gonna do is get through here without being poisoned. Nice. And if I click that, it doesn't even matter if I disconnect. I will definitely go up and I cannot die. And here's my obelisk. This bot's here to cheer me on. This guy's fishing his sharks, thinking he's happy about his life. It is time to charge some orbs. Now it's gonna work out the timings for this thing. Doing it this way is a fair bit faster and saves time. With the clip. The first inventory of many to the bank. All right, well, we're taking a risk now. We're taking the Ring of Life off. Clan Wars Paul to recharge energy. Hopefully not gonna die to some stupid death thing. Ooh, okay, so I have just done a quick uh, couple of calculations there to work out how much I actually have to create to get myself to level 75 crafting for the glory, I mean. And it's actually a lot more than I realized. Now, I don't know if I put this in the last clip, but the reason that I charge my orbs manually as I do right now by clicking individually rather than right clicking doing any of these options is because it's around 50% faster to do it this way. Now, I just finished a Matt's Cape on Bodhi and I three tick mined the whole thing. So this is literally casual for me. It's brain dead and it's faster. It gets my goal done quicker. That's why I do it. It's up to you if you want to AFK, but this is actually a faster method if you want to put a bit more effort in to actually move on. Uh, 1,829 water battle staffs I need to make to get to 62. And then I need to make around 7,000 fire battle staffs, including making the orbs as well to get to 75. So this is going to take me a while. And on top of all of that, I also need to go and buy myself around 9,000 battle staffs from the store, which is always competition, which kind of sucks. So, gonna be a bit more of a grind than I thought, but I will obviously get it done fairly quick. So the method that I'm using as well, for anybody that wants to know while I craft these uh, water orbs, is I'm actually using a combination of the Clan Wars portal to recharge my energy, and Falador Teleport tablets to actually get there. Now so far I've only used two doses of anti-poison, so the spiders aren't much of a problem. I have removed my Ring of Life now, because I don't think I'm going to die, and I'll explain why in a moment. But basically I go to the Clan Wars portal to recharge my energy back to 100, and then I run this whole lap, which takes I think 65% of my energy. Now, when I finish a lap, I have 65% energy again, regenerated off what is left. And I use that energy to teleport directly to Falador. So we save a dueling ring charge, and then I do a second lap. I'll show you in a moment what I'm saying, if it's just confusing. But if anyone has a hardcore Ironman out there, wondering how they're doing the crafting grind, this is how I'm doing it. Now, obviously, I do have 80 agility. My normal rule for an account is, you ask yourself the question, if there's something that can save you a ridiculous amount of time, but it'll take you a while to get, Ask yourself, are you ever going to get that in the long run anyway? Because if the answer is yes, you may as well do it. I'm obviously going to train my agility to, I think, 81, maybe higher than that, 85 eventually for Audi Cloak. So I thought in the short term, I'm going to get this. Now, the reason I don't die is because once I come in here with Premier Leon, I can't die to a spider. And because I've right-clicked, climbed up the ladder, my hands are now off the keyboard. The dragon will hit me on Premier but I will go up the ladder regardless of if I disconnect or not. So I don't think I can actually die here right now. As long as I anti-poison as soon as I'm poisoned, I can get out of the area. Then I just manually craft and I go to Falador and I redo the bank. All right, so just coming up to the end of this inventory here, I've recharged my energy to 70%. So instead of going to Clan Wars again, I actually go with the Falador teleport directly to Falador West Bank and then I do the run from here. I'll normally finish at about 30% energy so I don't even need to walk when I actually get to the Clan Wars portal and I can just move on and progress quite quickly while I do that. So that's the method. It's pretty damn risk-free, regardless of the monsters being quite high level. Um, and again, I, Earth Orbs and Air Orbs aren't really a safe option. I can do them, but obviously there's a good chance I'm gonna die. And I'd rather play this account long-term. This just seems a much safer option. And it does have a slight less experience rate 
but better than dying, realistically. So that's the method I'm using for crafting, if anybody's curious. I think it's very risk-free. does have a bit of a requirement short-term with the agility level, um, but it does allow me to craft. I'll, I'll time a bit now and work out how many I'm crafting, but I'm probably um, enchanting well over 500 an hour right now, which is very, very good. Anyways, apart from that, I will be back in the next clip with whatever content it will be, which will probably be, it's probably gonna be a few levels, I guess, mage levels, couple of crafting levels, uh, but probably nothing special for a while on this video. It's a, it's a bit of a grind with not much content, so bear with me on that. Yeah, me, level 72 magician. I didn't even get anything from it, that's boring. Well, that is the first batch of the uh, water orbs completed though. I now need to make myself another 390 orbs to enchant. And then we can continue on. Now, do I have the molten glass? Oh, I'm 40 sure. I'm so mad. That'll do. We'll do all these for now. Uh, so we like. Right, okay. So, whoo, right. Okay, we needed that because, well, I would have had that anyway to make the glory army. But because I'm making the orbs, I don't actually need to have 1,890 water battle staves anymore. So, 62 basically almost banked. All right. That's the bulk of the crafting done. Sorry, the orb charging done. So we got 72 mage from that, which is good. Now I need to go and buy myself an truckload of battle staves, make them all, and then we're 62 out of 75 and still have a billion more levels to do. Yeah, I forgot I had 149 battle staffs in the bank. That's like the best thing I've seen today. Time for some experience. I'm 57 crafting green dragon hide fan braces. Don't really know if I'm ever gonna kill a green dragon in my life. This champion may on its ultimate Iron Man. All right then, 58 crafting. Earth Battle Staves, unfortunately we're not going to be making any of those because I'm not going near the Chronozone because I don't want to freaking die to the Chronozone. So, unfortunately, dead content. Four levels away though from the Fire Battle Staffs. Woo! Alright, 73 Mage, Enfeeble, just what I wanted for Chris. Definitely one. 59 Craft Arena, woo! Wow, I feel like a baller. Toxic Staff for the Dead, Trident of the Swamp, mate. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, level 60. And if you have that, Green Dead Chaps. Not really useful at all. One level away though from Lunar Diplomacy. Ah, oh, here we go, 61 crow. Oh, that was boring. Well, I can do Lunar Diplomacy, okay. And there we go. All those orbs are done. It took so long because every world was bought out. And people were getting in my grill. I was getting angry about it, so yeah. Anyways, 62 crafting. Fire battle staves can now be created. The thing is, I'm about to go do Lunar Diplomacy and test out this other crafting method. So let's see how that goes. Hungry jungle spider over there. Ready to chomp me. No, go away, please, spider. Don't come near me. That's fine. Right, so I'm arcing here to lose um, 15 minutes of aggro on whatever NPCs from the area. So I can two-tick woodcut to get my woodcutting to 55 for the Lunar Diplomacy quest, which we're doing momentarily. Oh, no, Harambe. Yeah, 50 woodcutting is what we like to see. Five levels to go. I don't even know. I'm, I'm actually going to track my experience, right? So let's see how fast we get. The only problem with this, if I'm not going to take that nest because I lose my bird acro, I don't know if it's worth it. I can fix my birds. Give me my seat. I'm mad. Subs Mate, where's all 51? I've been here for like 20 hours. No. Mercy. No, spell it right, Adam. Why would you do that? That was so cruel. I actually thought he bursted him there. That was terrifying. What did he do? He just charged his stupid trident, mate. Whew. Well, at least my birds are alive. Aww. Oh, I need to collect some tar first as well. Damn it. 53. Nice. Three levels to go. Decided to get level 56 for the Fremenic Isles quest as well, I guess. Just so I don't have to line all these birds up and wait the aggro again. That's what we like to see. Level 55. We'll cut one level till Fremic Isles, but we at least can do the Lunar Diplomacy quest whenever we want, woodcut-wise. I do still obviously need to get some fire-making levels, so I'm kind of hoping I've got willow trees, uh, willow logs, sorry, in the actual bank. Otherwise, I will have to woodcut even more. Give me that nest, mate. What have we got here? Gold ring? Well, you're dead content. See, bro. Reference that. Okay. I'll take it. And there we go. 56 woodcut. Took me less than an hour to go from 47 to 56. Thank you very much, two ticking. All right, what do I need to do now? I need to go cut some more trees and go train some fire making. All right, baby, what do we got today, dude? We got ourselves a business, then we got ourselves an apple tree. It's freaking garbage. I can't even eat apples in the game. They're cooking apples and they might come in handy. I'm never gonna pick them. Well, this took like a million times longer than I actually thought it was gonna do. But there's 49 fire making. 
Obviously, I'll finish 50 off the desert treasure down the line, but for now, that does allow me to do Lunar Diplomacy, which I believe leaves us one more sub requirement of 60 mining. So let's get the tar and the gorm out the bank. It is time to three tick mine. Right, so before I want to go mine, I want to get this Varakama plate buddy out of the way, really, because I get double iron ore 10% of the time or something. It'll help. I have like 140 ish thousand experience to get to level 16. Uh, and I can do basically everything here. Do I have an earth talisman? I do indeed. I have every talisman on this account. I have to try and remember what I did before I quit the account. I remember doing the leeches for a cosmic talisman. I got every talisman first, which comes in handy when I start needing them. So newspaper's easy. Give a dog a bone is the best one. Spin a bowl. I should have soft clay in the bank. Uh, I hope I have 50 kudos. That's easy. And then that's basically very easy. So fly fishing rod. Let me see if I've got that. If I have fly fishing rod. Nice. Feathers. 20 will do. 10 will do nicely. Um, coins for the newspaper. Oh, man. I'm balling now, dude. Oh, God, it's beautiful cash that, mate. Beautiful cash that, mate. It makes me, it makes me happy inside knowing I've actually got some money on the bank. I have to play things differently to Peckish Whale. I can buy runes of that. I don't really need cash too much on this account in the short run, and I guess the long run, everything's made, because things are different now. Slayer makes you just ridiculous money, so there's a lot I can skip out. All right, what else do I need? Uh, I need pure essence. Do I have any essence? Nice. Earth talisman essence. Give a dog a bone. Need some bones. May have some in the bank. Bat bones. I'll kill a guard for something. Um, soft clay. Please say I've got clay. No! Oh my god, I'm so happy. All right, boys, let's go do everything. Please, please, I have 43 right now. All you need to do is put me on 53 and I'm happy, okay? Go up by eight, go up by eight. Come on, dude, I've definitely done the museum. Beautiful, that's what I like to see. Beautiful, <laughs> just enough as well. Herbal lamp, can I do it on herbal? Nice, that gets me 25. This is just, this is just so nice. I got a thousand experience in this diary as well. I don't know if I could put it on a skill under level 30, but if I can, that's 26 herbal as well, which is quite nice. Easily the best achievement diary requirement from any achievement diary out here. Feeding the dog, mate. You get a pet dog on the spot, mate. Look at him, bro. He's so upset, man. He has fleas, though, so I don't know. Probably someone's dinner tomorrow. A newspaper costs 50 GP. A goblin died. Yeah, great. You know I can buy 50 kebabs for the same price as that newspaper. Bet. Woo! Right. All easy tasks done. Talk to Toby in Varrock Square. Toby, cough up, mate. All right, moment of truth. Can I actually use this? Oh, man. Right, what else is it worth using on? I might as well get a level 40 smithing quickly to do some gold ores in the future. That opens up family crest quest, I guess. Oh, I was doing so well. Oh, oh man, I got to um, almost 56 before I failed the Gwam Uh Unfortunately, I don't really, I actually don't know where to get Swamp Tar in the game. Like... I thought I could buy it at the shop. I think I can get it in like Shades of Morton area. But for my location now, I actually don't know where to get it. I don't know if I'm just being a dumb or something, but my brain doesn't work. So I'm basically collecting it at the Lumbridge Swamp. I don't know if there's a store where I can buy thousands of them. So yeah, well, that sucks. Anyways, I'm five mining levels away from um, Lunar Diplomacy and I can actually start the quest. And it really sucks because I'm playing Old Bodhi next. I've got to do 60 mining basically tomorrow as well. So... Ah, great. Anyways, let's go get another tar, and then we go straight back to mining. Hey, two lime, two mining levels in the same chat box there. Do I have another one? Three, four. Yeah, dude, this is insanely fast experience, by the way. This, um, three tick mining at such a low level. Like, because the iron ore is basically almost always, like, insta-hit, this XP rate is, like, almost the same as being level 99 iron. Like, it's almost perfect as long as I concentrate. I'm getting around 65 to 70,000 experience an hour here. And I'm level 59. That is two hours and a bit from 50 to 60. This is crazy freaking quick. And here we go. That is that done at level 60 mining. You can now enter the world famous mining guild. Let's go, boys. I'm joking. Right, anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be knocking out the Lunar Diplomacy quest. Now, I haven't even looked at the item requirements. I'm going to bed right now because it's past 4 a.m. Uh, but yeah, I hope I can actually get everything with the stats that I have on my account because otherwise I'm freaking screwed. Over now, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one, which will probably be in a fair few days, I think. So I'm probably going to finish the glory in the next episode. We'll see. Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>